Today, I finally finished Hex Parkour. And I've got to say, while at times this map has made me want to do nothing short of ripping my hair out, this final stretch was really not that bad. You'll be glad to know that for once, I managed to actually not get completely stuck on any stage. And even though that's not completely true, but we'll look past that. Now, I didn't really have that much left anyway, only 6 levels, but I figured they would step up the difficulty a little bit. But it turns out they pretty much didn't do that. As always, if you want to play the map yourself, click the link in the description. With all that said, let's get on to Hexa Parkour Part 4. Uh, yeah, let's just start stage 34. So level 34 is a pretty average stage, even a bit easy to an extent. So this stage looks really, really easy. Yo, am I going to survive that? Let's go. <laughs> let's go. So yeah, I might have lost brain cells there. Maybe let's not go there. We'll keep going. And just as I said, we'll keep going. We'll not fall in gaps on easy jumps like that. And I probably lost some here too. I did that jump the hard way. The hard way, really? Anyway, that aside, I wasn't on this stage for very long. And then that's two blocks up one, okay. Yeah, this one's the same. And yeah. We're already on stage 35, and we're only two minutes in. Stage 35 kicks up a little, but not really by that much. The main issue here, really, is navigation. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, I was down here. Okay, what did I hit last time? I hit something. Ah, uh, was that. Right, okay. The stage is on enough, but since I didn't have any big fails, I was once again out of there pretty quickly. Hold on. Now jump up that. Oh! Oh, that could have been worse now. We could have fallen all the way to the end and had to redo the whole thing. Oh, if we fall here, we have to redo the whole thing, don't we? Oh, well. I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue. And now, are we already on stage 36? Oh my god, we actually are. The next stage steps it up a bit again, mostly because of all the puzzle elements. I don't think we're going to get lost for too long here. Okay, yeah, that's good. Uh, there we go. Now, this way. First, there's this house, which I figured out pretty quickly. Jump down there. This is like some kind of upside down house, it seems. Um, oh, it's telling us to go around the other way, maybe? Uh, hmm. Okay. So that's saying go in this way. Oh, do we have to jump in that? Ah, I see. Yeah. And then there's this house, which took me an embarrassingly long amount of time to crack. And something else familiar started happening again too. You may recognize it from stage 24. It doesn't r really seem like anything weird. Oh, oh, there we have it. There we go. That was, whoa. That was a big one right here, it seems, if you cross from there. Okay, well, oh, yeah, there I triggered it. How this part works is you're given a levitation effect and use it to bounce on the slime on the ceiling. It took me a whole two minutes to figure that one out. So there has to be like a way to get in that gap, but I don't really seem to understand how. It seems like no matter what I do, it just pounces me up. Okay, there we go. That's how you do that. Fine, that one is another one of the levels where you're brought down to half a heart. Luckily, there's pretty much no wayfinding here, so I just plowed through. So we'll go to the lowest point here and aim for the highest point there. Okay. Ooh, I almost fell, but that's fine. Okay, well, we made it to the higher one anyway, so that's not that big of an issue. And to this one, and we had another lag spike. Um... Let me land on this. Okay, that's fine. So now, okay, this one should be an issue at all because I'm not even falling. And there we go. The next stage, meanwhile, did trip me up a little since I thought I was going the wrong way. Is there anything weird going on here? No, it just seems like we're swimming around in a specific pattern. Hold on, uh, I'm going to have to come back here. It but wasn't too long though until I found is. the right way oh, and then I was very quickly at the end. Alright. 
Yeah, made a three block up one on the first try. That's always nice. So go up this and then across here and here. Please get out of my way, collectible checker. And down in this. And now we're on stage 39. Which brings us on to stage 39. The start is very easy. But then I got to this jump between the chorus plants. It must be a Minecraft 1x18 thing because this isn't the only map where I've had them. That is quite a long jump. Really, it's not that bad, but I took quite a while to get past it. Uh, I fully believe it's possible, but wow, it is long. I keep getting worried I'm going to like, overshoot, and then I let go forward earlier, uh, when you should not do that. Okay, I cannot reach that. Let's try again. While we're at, we're at 10 minutes, so maybe at the 12 minute mark, if I can't make it, okay, as you see there, I finally made it, so, clearly, it's, it's not even that hard of a jump, like, let alone saying it's possible but hard, it's, it's not even that hard, it just, it's gonna get annoying if we have to do this every time we die, I have a feeling, okay, we, we did that, but even once I did make it, I started to fail in some of the stupidest ways imaginable, just, Keep calm. Don't let these things get you. Okay, there we go. At one point, I even mistook the start of the level for the next checkpoint. Alright. That's not stage 40, is it? Nope. I just jumped back to the start. Yes, sometimes I have that few brain cells. So, yeah. Now, let's not make the mistake we made last time. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Also, when I was trying to jump on the slime block, I first thought you could do it from these purple stairs here. That's only gonna hold us back like a few seconds. But it was clear that's not right at all. Do you really go for the slime? I feel like that's too far. Probably the first time I actually didn't fall for something like this. So then I thought I had to go to the level above it, but that's not right either. Speed. I was going to say I go speed through there, but um, it seems like that slime is a little far away from where I was standing there. So, I'm not really sure how you get to it. I'll probably figure it out without too much time. Luckily, I found the way pretty quickly after that, and I was on to stage 40. Maybe we weren't trying to go here at all. Maybe we just go straight for the slime from here. Ah, yes, there's the slime underneath that. I should have seen that, really. So... Yeah, that's... F that's it. I guess we're on to stage 40 now. Ah, uh, stage 40. If you were expecting some sort of mega finale with a crazy amount of unhumanly difficult jumps, well, you're going to be a bit disappointed. What's this going to be? Just, like, full of really difficult jumps? No, it's mostly, like, just three blocks. Yeah, this stage seems fine. Am I missing something? Seriously, I'd nearly describe this stage as anticlimactic. I really did think it was tricking me and it was about to get utterly insane. But it never did. No, this stage just seems really easy. Unsurprisingly, I was finished very quickly. Well, at least this stage anyway. This map as a whole, meanwhile? Uh, yeah. Doesn't seem right at all. Five hours, 12 minutes? I thought it was like two hours it took me. So I think what happened here is I left the game paused and opened to LAN, meaning it's basically running. That meant the timer kept ticking until I closed Minecraft. That's just a guess though. Maybe something else happened? I don't know. Anyway, once the timer stopped, I looked around the finishing area for a little bit. I feel like I've seen that head before. I don't know though. And Amir Kaka is still following me. And then I went back to the start of the map to try and speed through it for the last 10 or so minutes of the stream. We'll go run over this. Oh, yeah, that's the 19 minute mark, okay. It didn't go very well. In fact, I'd argue it went quite badly. Like, take a look at how I did at the start. Uh, oh, we're already messing up. That's fine, that's fine. Don't need to worry about that. Well, we do need to worry about those falling early. I said what we do need to worry about is falling off. Okay, we don't need the honey, but we do need to kind of, you know, not fall. 
The next few stages weren't much better. I had a lot of very stupid fails. Go through this. Okay. Across here and here. And of course I fell. That's stage three. Gotta avoid the orange juice. As I was saying. I got to avoid the orange juice. You know, maybe don't fall in. That would be a bad idea to fall in there. Don't you think? Okay, but seriously. I said don't fall in the orange juice. Wow, we actually managed to get out of there. Okay. Alright. I wasn't trying to land actually on like the black stone. Look, it did that again. And yes, that includes the old nemesis. But for a different reason to the last time. Okay, well I jumped too far there. No. <laughs> Well, wow, that, that bit's harder than I thought. Okay, there we go. That's good. Then my experience on stages 4 and 5 appeared to switch. I got through the rest of stage 4 without much issue. And here, and here. I seem to be falling faster for some reason. But then I had an outright disheartening amount of fails on stage 5. There we go. No. <sighs> Maybe don't fall off the vines. You know, that's not really very nice. Oh, I just realized I'm going to hit a massive roadblock at, what is it, stage 11 or stage 12? Because we're going to have those four really hard jumps with the jump boost. And yeah, that's not going to be fun. What's also not fun is when you make it through this part again and then you immediately fail on something really stupid. Going over that slime is kind of annoying though. Okay. Uh, that's the third time that happened. How is that happening? Is there like an invisible ceiling there or something? Yeah, I see there. You see how I went up? Oh god, okay. I nearly fell. But I didn't. And stage 6 was just straight up a disaster. All the way through. It took me a ridiculous amount of time to remember to go on the beam. There we go. And I fell. Okay, uh, there we go. Ah! Yo, I completely forgot what I'm doing. We figured that one out. So, yeah, we go across that slime. Okay, so that teleports you here. And now... I was about to say we go on the slime, but, like, that just randomly becomes untextured with no explanation. Actually, oh, okay. God, I, I took a while to figure that one out. Stage 7 was mostly fine. Hopefully it's not like that this time. Okay, I'm clear of the glowstone. But for whatever reason, the slime jump at the end just would not cooperate. I mean, look at how I did here. Are you for real? Are you actually for real there? Are you having some kind of laugh? Like, seriously. Did you see what happened there? Can you imagine? I actually overshot the slime. And now I didn't get far enough because I was focusing too much on trying to get onto the slime and not overshoot at that time. Okay, um, that's the same number of fails I've had on this part as I did my first time through. In fact, it's more. Okay, there we go. Finally. Stage 8 was fine, I guess. Well, you gotta avoid. And then you land on this. Meanwhile, at stage 9, I did okay on most of it, but not the start. It was like I completely forgot how to do the honey wall altogether. Oh, we got one of those honey slides, don't we? Okay, well, I made it. That's fine. And, of course, I got a lag spike, which meant I couldn't go on. Like, that's the worst spot, too, to get a lag spike. And, of course, I didn't make it that time. Yeah, I knew I wasn't going to make it that time. This might be it. I fell again. How did I fall that time? Oh my god, that is, that is so much worse than it was the first time. Yo, that's four fails in it now. And make that five. Are you actually for real? Finally. That took me like six attempts. All right, uh, the honey, that shouldn't actually be too much of an issue. All right, and now you have to go right at the edge here. All right, that's fine. 
Then we go in there. Yeah. That meant I wasn't in a great mood going into stage 10, and this really did not get any better. But as for stage 11, just watch. You won't believe what happened here. Uh, we're on stage 11, so I think this is going to be the end. I don't think I'm going to get very far with this. And I'm getting lag spikes here, and I used to not get lag spikes, so... I don't have very high hopes. Yeah, that's right. I somehow managed to do those four jumps fast, without any fails, on my first attempt. Like, I still don't know how to react to that. That gave me a sense of hope that maybe, just maybe, I could do those jumps. You know the ones. Alright, you know what we're going to try to do? We're going to try to do those jumps. The ones I couldn't do. These ones right here. I really want to actually try. But of course, I'm getting that kind of fail. So that's going to get in the way. I, I must be hitting something. Yes, there is something you can hit. It's that fence there. All right. Uh... Yeah, so go on the slime, land on that. Oh my god, no, I lost, like, control of my direction there. Oh my god, the sign saved me. Okay. Yeah, I'm really not so sure about that. So with that anticlimactic ending, we are finally finished Hexa Parkour. This map frustrated me beyond all recognition at certain parts, but at other times it was really well designed. I also hope something could be done about the lag spikes, because they basically broke the map for me at certain parts. <laughs> Stage 24. <laughs> if you at all liked the video, then click the like button down below to show your support. You can watch the last map I played by clicking here. And finally, if you're really enjoying my content and want to see more, then click the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching, and have a good night, or day.